Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Since the United States imposed comprehensive sanctions on China's semiconductor development, former U.S. Ambassador to China Gary Locke publicly stated on a U.S. program that the United States does not want China to manufacture its own cutting-edge chips in order to maintain its own technological advantages and national security. These sanctions include preventing China from obtaining advanced process chips from U.S. chip giants, such as NVIDIA and Qualcomm, restricting China's use of software for designing chips, and preventing China from obtaining advanced photolithography machines, by putting pressure on Dutch company ASML. Locke said these measures are measures taken by the United States to maintain its technological hegemony, aiming to suppress China's technological and military development and even threaten the rejuvenation of the Chinese nation. Although U.S. sanctions have restricted China's chip industry to a certain extent, China has quickly launched independently innovative alternatives, such as Huawei's Kirin 9000's 5G chip, which has also achieved excellent results in areas such as AI computing chips. The technological war between China and the United States has reached a stage where it is a matter of life and death. Whoever can win this battle will be able to truly rise up and lead the future development of science and technology. Faced with the blockade and suppression by the United States, China has adopted a strategy of advancing on multiple tracks in the chip field. On the one hand, China is increasing its efforts to explore cutting-edge technologies, such as quantum chips and traditional photolithography chips, to improve chip performance and process technology. On the other hand, China makes full use of existing equipment and technology and continues to innovate on the basis of independent research and development to meet the needs of the domestic market. Although domestic chips may not be as advanced as those of the United States at this stage, China is vigorously promoting independent chip production and will not let the United States completely destroy China's semiconductor industry. China is confident of winning the final victory. The Development and Challenges of China's Semiconductor Industry The rise of China's semiconductor industry is an important support for China's scientific and technological progress and economic development. However, China still faces some challenges in the chip field due to its high reliance on advanced processes and cutting-edge technology. On the one hand, Technical barriers are the main bottleneck for the development of China's semiconductor industry. Cutting-edge chip manufacturing requires mastering core technologies and innovation capabilities, but in the past few decades, China has been technologically backward in the chip field, and product quality and performance cannot compete with international giants. In addition, technical barriers are also reflected in China's reliance on imported raw materials and equipment and its inability to achieve complete independent production. On the other hand, changes in the market structure also pose challenges to China's semiconductor industry. Due to U.S. sanctions and blockade measures, Chinese semiconductor companies face huge difficulties in competing in the international market. At present, the global semiconductor market is still dominated by developed countries such as the United States and China faces fierce competition for market share. Coping Strategies for China's Semiconductor Industry In order to cope with the challenges, the Chinese government and enterprises have taken a series of measures to support the development of the semiconductor industry and the improvement of innovation capabilities. First, China has increased its investment in scientific and technological innovation. The government encourages companies to increase investment in R&D and enhance technological innovation capabilities by setting up special funds and R&D funding projects. At the same time, cooperation between scientific research institutions and enterprises should be strengthened to promote the transformation and industrialization of technological achievements. Secondly, China actively introduces advanced foreign technologies and talents. Through cooperation with foreign companies and research institutions, China can quickly acquire advanced technology 
and knowledge and narrow the gap with international giants. At the same time, China has also launched a series of policies and measures to attract overseas talents to return to China to start businesses and provide talent support for the semiconductor industry. In addition, China has also increased policy support for the semiconductor industry. The government supports enterprises to expand production scale and reduce production costs through tax incentives, industrial funds and financial support, and encourages enterprises to increase independent innovation and technological upgrading. In addition, China has also strengthened international cooperation in the semiconductor industry. Through cooperation with other countries and regions, China can obtain more market opportunities and resources and expand its international influence. For example, China has cooperated with European countries and made important breakthroughs in the field of key equipment such as photolithography machines. The development prospects of China's semiconductor industry are still optimistic. As one of the world's largest consumer markets, China has a huge demand for semiconductors and has huge market potential. The Chinese government and enterprises have realized this and are increasing investment and support for the semiconductor industry. At the same time, the growth of China's domestic market demand will also bring new opportunities to the semiconductor industry. As China's economy continues to develop, people's demand for high-performance electronic products continues to increase, which will promote the development of the semiconductor industry. Especially in fields such as 5G, artificial intelligence and the Internet of Things, Chinese semiconductor companies have the opportunity to become the world's leading suppliers and technology innovators. However, China's semiconductor industry still faces some challenges. The first is the improvement of technology and innovation capabilities. China needs to accelerate breakthroughs in key technological fields to narrow the gap with international giants. The second is the protection of independent intellectual property rights. China must increase its awareness of the importance and protection of intellectual property rights and promote the creation and application of independent intellectual property rights. In short, while facing US sanctions and market competition, China's semiconductor industry is also full of opportunities and challenges. The Chinese government and enterprises should increase their efforts to promote technological innovation and independent development of the semiconductor industry to achieve the rise of China's science and technology and sustainable economic development.